All right, let's talk familiar training, pack three. So that's the third video on this topic. If you remember from the, the first and second videos, I said you should um, start with pack one, unlock your um, Aquarius and Therite familiar at least to uh, adult level. So that's between level 20 and 50 and then move on straight ahead to pack two. Uh, and for with pack two, you want to get all of them to at least level 20, so adult between level 20 and 50. Uh, and then what you wanna do is make sure that you uh, unlock pack three from the research. It's, it's very easy to get pack three. Um, and then there's a big, big time gap between pack three and pack four because you, you have to unlock academy level 25 so um so you want to make sure you get to familiar pack three first uh and then you're gonna focus on that before you finish up pack one and pack two uh and like i said you should you should be maxing all of them even before you um even before you unlock pack four uh, when I say max them, I say, I mean, uh, adding all the rooms, uh, not necessarily level 60. Uh, you'll see it, it takes a long time to get your familiar level 60, especially the bigger ones. So what's interesting about pack three? Uh, first of all, you don't have a, a selection of A and B. Uh, you have all the familiars in pack three under one type. So uh, as you can see, there's uh, seven of them with one rare, the Griffin. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the gemming gremlin is, it's not a rare, but you get less rooms than the other ones. Up, up, I'd say you get them about at, at the same rate as Griffin. The difference is that you need less room uh, to uh, upgrade your gemming gremlin. It's uh, 120 for the tier three and it's 160 for tier four. Uh, I mean, from adult to elder, so from level 50 to get it to uh, unlock up to level 60. So let's look at the at the familiars. The most interesting one, and the reason one of the main reason why you want to unlock this is to get the gem and gremlin, uh, because the skill that you get uh, at the uh, elder stage is free gems. Uh, so that that cooldown is between three and two days, and you get at level 10 between a thousand and two thousand gems. Uh, that's something you want to max out ASAP uh, as a free-to-play uh, player. It's hard to get gems. You see, I have a lot at the moment because I'm stocking them. But uh, you want to you want to make sure that uh, you uh, you get gems from all all sources possible, and that's a big one. The other skills: construction speed. Uh, that's nice, but eventually you're gonna max out all, all your buildings, so it's not gonna matter much. And gem gathering speed is something that you do once every three weeks after KVK and then some special events. Uh, the other one uh, that I really like and factory is Trickstar. Uh, Trickstar, all the skills are good. Uh, research speed is good because it takes a really long time to uh, max out your research. Uh, this account is three years old. I still have at least a hundred research um, that don't require tomes. And there's a bunch more that requires tomes. So uh, you're going to be uh, doing research uh, for 10 years if you keep playing that game. So it's always going to be valuable. Um, attack, range attack, it's really nice. Uh, this is a ranged attack account, by the way, so I maxed it uh, as soon as I could. But the last one, the skill that you get at, at Elder Stage, is uh, you get random Holy Star items. And you can get, uh, it's uh, 100, 1000, and then 10,000. Uh, so every two days, you get three random Holy Star at them. It's really good, um, especially for a free to play player. Uh, you want to use those stars uh, on the um, on the Labyrinth when it's not Frostwing because you want to get those rare material. So that's, uh, that's familiar. You want to um, max out ASAP. I suggest you start with this one 
because you're gonna get more runes of Trickstar than Gem and Gremlin. So you wanna do you wanna do this one first. Uh, Goblin is a good one too. All the skills are good. Um, at Elder stage you get free gold every day. You get uh, between six and twelve million. That's I mean you're you're gonna have a lot of gold if you look at what I have right now. 28 million and I just uh, I just did a, um, a couple days ago I just did a uh, chaos dragon research so I use a lot of gold but usually you'll have between 50 million and 100 million depending on how much you use um, so goblin that's a good one uh, gold production once you get that skill and you and you always have above your um, uh, your maximum from from gold then production is not really gonna matter but uh, whenever you use your gold then I mean that's that's kind of nice and whenever you use that um, uh, evil weevil skill I mean your gold production is gonna get boosted it's gonna, you're gonna get more gold from that skill the other one is scattering speed it's always nice uh, for guild fest for kvk if you don't fight um, so that's that's pretty good uh, who else is good? Um, Magus is really nice because uh, you get the uh, at Elder stage you get the uh, the Elp L bar filling uh, every eight hours, so that's really good when you do uh, um, Watcher research, Chaos Dragon. If you do the challenge, you can do uh, three in the same day. That's pretty good. The first skill uh, gives you more tax merging, uh, so up to five so that's that's pretty good and then if you fight a lot if you if you hunt for leads uh, you get uh, altar boost duration uh, six hours that's pretty good as far as the other ones uh, Noceros I like Noceros um, it's it's a I'd say it's a support uh, on this account because the second skill is cab attack and I, I'm, I'm a range account on, on this one uh, I have um, another account that's a special that specialized in cab but I still have that skill um, maxed out you have capacity uh, so that means that you're risking less troops when you're gathering uh, and then in a flash the um, elder uh, stage uh, skill uh, lets you uh, complete a, a gathering tile uh, well up to five every day at level 10 so uh, it does not give you points for events and does not work with gem loans but I have this skill maxed out and what it means is right now prepare it I have uh, I have couple field level four I have five of them where I've been gathering and just for this video because usually whenever I get my five uh, tiles I will hit that skill and as you can see my uh, gathering troops are coming back I'm gonna speed them up because I want to make sure that they all come back to my earth around the same time so I can send to our guild bank. All right, 40 seconds. Let's speed it up. 30 seconds. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna select bank here. So that's a pretty good skill. Uh, let me so so five times 1.5. That's 7.5 million that I'm sending to bank every day with food. Uh, I really don't like gathering food, so that's why, uh, because, obviously because of upkeep. So let's send that, and I still have 150k. So it does not require a lot of effort. You do that once a day, you help your guild, help your guild mate. So I really like this. Uh, this skill from Nasrus. Last one is Mole Shaman. Um, this is a, it gives an infantry boost. Uh, I really like the uh, 
infirmary capacity. 5%, I mean, it's it's nice. The uh, wall repair, if you fight a lot, if you trap, if you bait people, that's good. Uh, it gives you 50% once a day. Uh, I don't use it a lot. Um, so that's why I don't think it's a, it's a great familiar to have, especially on this range account. The last one is Griffin. I don't really uh, use much. You have uh, you can have fifty thousand uh, more troops from allies in uh, on your tur in your turf uh, from that first scale. I really like this one training speed because uh, I'm trying to to get a, a really nice comp troop comp. So any boost is welcome so obviously i have this max out uh, the last one is um homeward bind at elder stage uh so it requires a skill stone i don't remember if it's a, a, a big core or small core uh but at level 10 it recalls all your troops so whenever you you hear uh, someone say they have a griffin trap as basically what they do is they hide their troops uh, either uh, on tiles or uh, in a camp and then whenever they get attacked they will hit that skill so it recalls their troop it takes six seconds uh, for the troops to get back um, I I think it's mostly a meme tactic uh, I don't I don't think people fall for that trap anymore but uh, uh, I mean for for video on YouTube I guess it's a it makes for a good show uh, so yeah so that's about it for pack three uh, you really want to like I said you really want to uh, unlock pack three SAP use all your speed up um, to max out your uh, your familiars uh, of pack three before going back to pack one and pack two uh, because it, like I said, it's going to take a long time to get the pack four, and we'll talk about pack four in the next video. Uh, but obviously, if you use your speed up, make sure you use them um, during events. Uh, so solo events, L events. Right now, there's no events for uh, merging. Uh, you can do that in during guild fest. You can do that. You can uh, do that for um, uh, the Kung, Kung Fu Panda. There's some uh, timed events like that that you can you can use your speed up. Um, but yeah, uh, Pack Three is uh, is really what you're gonna aim for when you start your account. Uh, it's gonna take you, I guess, around six months four months to get a pack three something like that and pack four is gonna take you a, a year 16 months 18 months uh, to unlock it takes a long time and really depends on what route you go uh, through uh, a lot of people do economy first obviously because they want to do military also to unlock their t4 um, a lot of people will max out to level nine monster hunt until they have their academy. So if you if you go with the bare minimum economy military monster hunt to level nine and then familiars to level to pack three, uh, what people do when they unlock T4 is now they have a choice uh, to go finish up monster hunting or go to uh, pack four. Takes a long time. Takes a lot of speed up. Um, I personally finished up Monster Hunt before I went to Familiars to get Pack 4. Uh, it's a choice you have to make, obviously, if you want to go to military, uh, great military to get your quick swap, uh, get your bigger army, uh, that's a, also a choice you have to make. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. It's going to take you a year and a half roughly to get pack four so in between that time you have plenty of time to uh to max out your pack three pack one pack two and and in between that time i suggest you stock up on speed up before you hit 
pack for because you want basically what I what I did is I, I stocked up my uh, my merging uh, speed up and then whenever there was a watcher event I would complete that uh, that event and then I did the same thing with chaos dragon that's why I'm at 83 out of 100 with a three-year-old account I'm closing in on purple uh, which is kind of pretty rare. Um, it's it's hard to get. You get one medal per event, uh, and it costs you about a hundred. I think it's 104 pack four. So if you want to do that with pack three, it's it's about 170 packs. It's it takes a lot of speed ups. Uh, I you can do it, but I suggest you wait for pack four to start doing those uh, chaos dragon merging. So that's about it for oh yeah let's look at my pack uh pack three uh familiar so griffin completely maxed oh by the way army i'm uh, level eight and i'll talk about army talent uh, in an, uh, another video uh, if we look at the other ones trickstar is maxed out jenny gremlin is maxed out goblin maxed out nasaras maxed out Iris is level 2, Tempestite level 2, Bolshaman uh, maxed out too, Magus is maxed out, and we're missing one. Are we missing one? Uh, nope, that's it. I have all pack 3 maxed out. So, in the next video, we're gonna talk about pack 4. Alright, do you have any comments? Uh, leave a comment, I'll uh, address it in the, the next video or maybe later. Thanks a lot guys, bye. Alright, so before I finish the video, I wanted to jump on my uh, one of my other accounts that I, um, I don't have pack 4 unlocked. I'm currently uh, working towards it, really close to it. Uh, as you can see, I'm only missing uh, three, five, six research. And uh, concerning this one, I, if you look at my speed up, uh, I don't have a lot of research speed up. I just did um, leave a watcher recently, and I don't want to use my normal speed up. I keep those for um, keep those for uh, troop training mostly. So, uh, but this account is about. 20 months 20 months old so i said around like 14 to 16 months to uh, unlock pack four uh, i think it's 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 closer to two years uh and as far as the route that i took obviously i did economy i uh unlocked t4 on this account it took me about uh 13 months I, I think to unlock T4 uh, I went the uh, monster hunt uh, route where I um, completed uh, those research as, except for the last one uh, and what else did I do on, on this account I made sure to have at least a couple uh, quick swap um, eventually I'm gonna go back to this tree um, aside from that, in the army leadership, I did uh, I did a little bit to unlock the max deposit and um, military comment. I made sure that I could fill uh, the uh, 50,000 more troops on darkness so that I can send 250 and a little bit to uh, towards the deposit and energy. Uh, I'm, this is a filler account. There's I'm not gonna put any uh, any uh, research uh, below that for a very 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 long time uh, because it's it has no utility for me uh, I have um, like I said I have a range a cab an inf account for uh, darkness so this is just a filler account so basically uh, yeah 20 months I'm missing six research probably gonna take me maybe another month uh, to get um, even though I mean I could do it right now uh, as you can see I have a lot of techno labs I'm gonna keep those for uh, the very expensive one 
and I'm going to be using way later in Army Leadership. So, and uh, like I said, uh, it's very easy to uh, max out a pack 1, 2, and 3 before you unlock a pack 4. As you can see, uh, they're all Elder. Uh, do I have a couple ones not Elder? Uh, I don't. These are uh, P2P uh, familiars. Uh, so all the rest are Elder. So even though they're not maxed out, they are, I have unlocked all of them at, uh, at Elder level. And um, yeah, so that gives you a, a, a good example of, uh, of um, account progression between my, my biggest uh, free-to-play account and then that's my fourth account. So I guess my, my third uh, uh, free-to-play account. So uh, about 20 months old and uh, still not uh, unlock back four. So uh, just to, to, sh to showcase uh, how to progress, obviously it's, it's an out, but I mean, I'm still very active. I do everything that I need to do on a daily basis to get speed up. So um, it's just to compare to uh, what you can expect uh, for a free to play account to unlock back four. All right.